Okay, well here it is. And uh, seeing that I have lived in South Carolina, Alabama, and Alaska, the only reasonable thing I could do was put a body lift on this thing. And you'll see that I have these things are way longer than they need to be. And I'm kind of giving the thing a jacked up profile uh, just because I thought it'd be funny. But um, yeah, it was actually a really fun build. I, I have kind of big hands and so fitting all these little tiny screws can be a little bit of a pain for me, but this one was actually a really good build. Um, I need to get this little wire out of the way. But uh, basically, yeah, so it's got all the little boards on top and there's plenty of room for expansion to add more things to it. Uh, it's being powered by the 18650 batteries. We've got the two motors down the bottom. It's got kind of a really cool steering mechanism right in here uh, that runs off that single servo. And then you can see up here it's got uh, dual servos that move the camera around. And so, yeah, it was, a, it was a really kind of a cool build. Right now I've just got it connected to the, using the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B Model 2. And uh, so it's kind of funny because I've got Node Red and all kinds of stuff on my robot. So uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy with the build. Let me see if I can show you a little bit about the user interface. One of the things I probably should have mentioned when I had the bot on the screen was that I basically used the book for the entire thing. It came with that printed manual and uh, it was fantastic. That was the directions I followed and pretty much worked to a T. And uh, so once you get it all built, you install a little bit of Python on the Pi itself, and then you can come into your browser and enter the address of the Pi colon 8000. There's some other things you could do. You can install some native code. You can uh, do all kinds of different programming things. This is probably the easiest thing to just demonstrate quickly. You go to the browser and you're presented with this let's rock screen and uh, then you immediately get the point of view of the bot and uh, my lighting isn't very good over there right now but it's is decent enough you can control the speed so i'll put it on one just so i don't like run it off the desk uh, but you can drive around with it and see everything in real time you can so i'm basically using the uh, wasd keys to drive like you know d and turn a little bit to the side or whatever and then um the arrow keys on the keyboard will move the camera around so that i can look up and look down and look right and all that stuff and then uh i can drive over here to the hat and uh get a close-up view of it when you're up close to something it actually has a really good picture um this probably isn't doing it justice let me get over there close to the hat but it's got some pretty decent detail considering i'm streaming this over wi-fi uh from the pi so i'm pretty happy with that i think it's I think it's kind of a fun thing. So anyway, I mean, the build itself took me about an hour and a half. Uh, I had some fun. It, they give you extra screws and parts, and so I decided to go back and do that little lift kit modification. Uh, but it pretty much went through perfectly. There was one thing I had to look up online just to see. The picture was a little bit dark in the book, but um, just to see which side of something I needed to go with. But uh, yeah, it was a cool build, and, and I really like this kit. Like, I, I think you could do some fun things with it. I think you could put, like, some infrared on top of it and play laser tag with them, and uh, it'd be kind of a fun thing to drive underneath of a vehicle and look for leaks and, and scare the cat and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I think it's a fun build. I think it's a cool kit. I've built a fair amount of robots, and I think this one might be my favorite just because it's kind of unique. So yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching.